It's your girl out of mind. That's a lot better. There you go. It's your girl out of mind. The one that lets her light shine no matter who it blinds. And today, as y'all know, I have the Bitter Bath posted. If you haven't checked that out, go and check it out. Um, this is a sweetening bath. So this is, as opposed to how the Bitter Bath was cleansing you of any negative spirits and energy. The sweetening bath is to bring love and abundance to you. I'm sorry if I'm a little like downish today, but just found out that Nipsey Hussle passed away. And so not really feeling that. Not really feeling that at all. What other better way to give that love and you know energy back into the universe to give it to myself. So I'm gonna teach y'all how to do the sweetening bath and you will do this uh, an odd number amount of days. I need some lip gloss, so I'm gonna go get some. You're gonna take your bitter baths and then you are going to take your sweetening baths, one, three, five, seven, nine, so on and so forth. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and go get my lip gloss because I'm looking a little chapped and then I'll be back. Yeah, that's a lot more like it. <laughs> it's a lot more like it. So what you'll need for this bath is Florida water, I'm going to teach you guys how to make your own Florida water. But if you have Munums, I think that's what it's called. Florida water, that's cool too. Pink Himalayan sea salt. Um, cinnamon sticks. I also use typically star anise. But most of my herbs are at my mom's house. And I'm moving to a new house. So um, I got to go get my herbs from her house. Honey, I usually use better honey, but that is also at her house, and I was not gonna go spend money and buy some more because the honey that I like is top notch, baby. Coconut milk and roses. Your yeah, roses can be pink, red, white, yellow, uh, any color that you want them to be. And of course, we have our handy dandy white bowl basin type thing that you will. Put all of your ingredients into once they're done, and that's what you'll use to cleanse yourself. So let's go. So I'm just gonna go ahead and turn on my oven. I'm gonna put it on like medium. You are just going to uh, add all of the ingredients one by one and simmer them. And I'm going to just like I say, usually I use star anise as well as the cinnamon sticks. So if you can find some star anise or you already have star anise, please use that. Because star anise is really good for attraction and sweetening as well. So you want to use all that you can. Um, like I said, you really want to use your sweetening bath to bring sweetening and abundance and honey and sugar and everything nice to your life because all of the ingredients coincide they really go well together this will bring you guaranteed results you can do however many baths depending on how much you feel like you need it so say you are you've been spiritually attacked you're going to do more than just one or two or even three cleanses you feel me and after that you're gonna do more than one or two or three sweetening baths so i'm gonna go ahead and continue to make this bath and i will show you step by step me pouring the ingredients in like you guys just saw i poured my coconut milk in then i'll be adding the honey not the honey then you'll see how i do the Himalayan sea salt, pink Himalayan sea salt, and the honey together. It's starting to simmer. So y'all watch. What I am going to do is add three cinnamon sticks. Cinnamon heats up any work that you're doing. So if you're doing work for abundance or sweetening or anything of the sort, cinnamon is great. It's what you want. 
also use star anise which is really good for protection work and blessing work and healing and all of the sort this is my Florida water I'm gonna add a few dashes this right here y'all is my love potion that's my secret love potion and I'm gonna add a few drops of that it's amazing so while I have the other stuff simmering, I'm going to go ahead and do my honey and sea salt part. So first what you're going to want to do is coat the bottom of the bowl with honey. It doesn't have to, you don't have to use all your honey, but you know, just make sure it's sweet. So I'm going to use about... <laughs> show you guys oh, oh, this much okay yeah you see and then I'm going to just lay the Himalayan sea salt over it I'm not gonna use a lot like I said because I'm just gonna do my bath for three days and because um, I did my bitter bath for the past three days before this one so you see I cut coated the bottom of the bowl with honey and then I just layered the pink Himalayan sea salt on top of it. Now I'm going to take the simmering mixture that I made on the stove and just pour it into the basin. And I'm also going to add water to it. I added a little bit of water to it and this is what it looks like. What I'm going to do is add in the roses, the rose petals, and I'm going to, I'm going to use three buds. I'm going to use three buds because I'm going to put the rest on my altar. But I'm going to use three of these buds, put them in here, and I'll show you. share and subscribe my channel if you haven't already i really appreciate it you guys are dogs thank you my light bulbs thanks for coming back i love y'all y'all already know 
It's we in this thing to the end blow. Okay? Alright. Alright. See y'all in the next video. Bye.